Welcome to Winning Secret TV. Don't lose faith in God. Faith truthfully and scripturally speaking is very veritable for Christian living. It is the base and foundation of Christianity. Maintaining and sustaining it has been declared as warfare. This is due to the premium that God has placed on it. And that had therefore also made the devil to be after it. Apart from that, it has been a battle to keep the faith. Faith has also been described as a weapon of warfare. While it is a battle to keep it, when it is kept, it becomes a powerful weapon for victory over the enemies of faith and the blessedness that accompany it. Lost of faith is tantamount to being placed in a disadvantageous position in the battles of life. The scripture describes the struggle to keep faith alive in God as a fight or battle. In the word of Apostle Paul, in Timothy chapter 6 verse 12, faith was described as an armor of warfare. It reads, Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7, Apostle Paul still described his being able to maintain or keep his faith in God, despite all that he passed through. As a good fight, it says, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. In other words, for him to have kept his faith unmovable, despite all he went through, was a good fight. This scenario implies that it takes a fight to maintain or keep the faith in God. Despite all that the devil, the enemy of our faith may try or do. Faith was also described as a weapon of warfare and protective weapon. Against the devil, in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16, the Bible says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. That is why the devil hates faith and to see us of faith in God. He will virtually try to do anything within his ability to see that we lose our faith in God. For it is only then will he be able to accomplish his threefold mission on earth, which are to kill, to destroy it, and to steal, according to John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Incidentally, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, you can subscribe now. You can simply do this by hopping over to YouTube and type on the search bar on YouTube. Winning Secret TV. Then you hit the search button to go to the channel. You will see the subscription button to subscribe immediately. Or click on the channel logo to see the entire channel. There you can also see the subscription button and subscribe. To not miss out on all the exciting videos that we post practically every week. Thank you very much. All right. The question therefore is, why must we keep fighting the fight of faith? Because our faith is the main area of the interest of the devil. Once the devil takes the faith of a hitherto believer, he has conquered the believer and had returned him or her to the state and status of the lost or the unsaved. That means the person is now under the influence and dictates of the devil, who is then under the whims and caprices of the devil. And that is exactly what the devil wants because it is by faith that we are saved. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Faith is the gift of God, for man to make possible redemption and victory over Satan. Once faith is lost, every other thing is lost. We are Christians today, by faith, remove faith, there is no Christianity. The devil, who the scripture describes as the gods of this world. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Because, the devil is only overcome through faith. And that's why, he doesn't want you to have faith, even you already have it. He wants you to lose it so that you can return to his slavery. Jesus acknowledges this truth, 
when the devil sought to take Peter's faith away. Luke 22 verse 31 to 32. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fails not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Jesus said here that he has prayed for Simon that his faith fails not. What is that telling us? It is telling us that devil will never succeed in hurting, killing, destroying, and stealing from any. Without first of all ensuring that he or she lost faith first, or that he or she doesn't have faith at all. However, from that scripture, the Lord also has given us the antidote to the loosing of faith. Prayer. He said that he has prayed for Simon, that his faith fails not, as because of the prayer his faith did not fail. You don't want your faith to fail. Because of that, you have to pray. Prayer is the key to the growth and stability of our faith. Next to prayer is reading and listening to the scriptures. Because faith comes by hearing the word of God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Fasting also enhances faith, so these three should be in continual practice to sustain a vibrant faith in God. Because faith is fundamental for a sustainable Christianity. And since faith is the foundation, if the foundation is therefore destroyed, what else shall be left? Nothing. Jesus said, This things I have told you, that in the world you might have tribulations but in me, you shall have peace knowing that I have overcome the world. So when you see troubles, challenges, and things that challenges faith in you, you should know that the devil is on, only but one mission, to steal or destroy your faith. For without faith, you can't please God. Hebrews 11 6 But without faith, it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It is by faith that we are saved. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. It is also by faith that we receive things from God. Mark chapter 11 verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. It is still by faith, that we win our victory over the devil, and every of life's challenges. Hebrews 11:33. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. There is therefore no alternative to faith for a victorious life. I prophesy to you, you shall not lose your faith. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your everlasting love, which you have shown us by the gift of your Son Jesus Christ, that through faith in him we will be saved. Father, I pray for those who are yet to embrace this grace of faith. Let the Holy Spirit who you said that when it comes it will convince the world of sin, judgment, and righteousness and their Heavenly Father, now that the Holy Spirit has come, let it convince, convict and convert them. That they may seek salvation in you through faith and for the brethren who have lost their faith, due to challenges, trials and temptations of the devil, Lord I ask for their restoration. Let their faith in you and the finished work of Christ be restored, reactivated, and reinvigorated in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. Also, you may leave your comment or prayer requests in the comment box and we shall respond to you accordingly. God bless you.